I'm Dan from Trends, and today we're talking about the new Diamond Cross credit card stain. The credit card stain is 1.5 mil stainless steel construction, which gives it a nice, sturdy, solid surface. It also follows it through into the handle, making it nice and solid, no flex. The diamond is impregnated onto the stainless steel using nickel plating, which then gives a solid, efficient cutting surface. We have the diamond cross pattern here, which allows the perfect combination between cutting surface and waste removal. They're double sided with 300 on one side and 600 on the other. They can be used to sharpen knives, scissors, uh, spindle molding tools and other such items. Okay, now we're gonna use the credit card to show you how you can sharpen knives. All you need to do is make sure you keep your fingers well out of the way when sharpening by using the handle provided. Take your lapping fluid and lubricate the stone. This lapping fluid isn't oil or water based because water causes oxidization on, on the swarf material trapped inside the diamonds and oil will actually trap the swarf into the diamonds as well. Now to actually sharpen your knife, all you need to do, hold it nice and steady, keep a firm grip on it, take your knife, find the leading edge on your knife and follow it through. Take alternative strikes just to ensure a perfect leading edge on it. In terms of sharpening, you only need a few good strikes and that will give you a perfect leading edge on that knife. Now, you can also sharpen it using the accessory part of the Diamond Cross bench holder. These are two interlocking rubber blocks which push together and lock together like that and they have four magnetic holes on it. Pop the credit card on and that's held in place by the magnets. Nice solid construction as well so you've got a nice sturdy point to put your thumb on for holding. Using the bench holders, take your knife and again find the leading edge and just follow through. A few strikes again is all you need to get a leading edge on any knife. Once you've done that, it's just a case of cleaning the block. Now to clean the block, wipe off any excess lapping fluid. Take your trend rubber cleaning block and just rub away on the block. This lifts all the excess waste material from out the diamond, leaving you with a clean surface to sharpen on next time you come to use it.